Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review is going to be a Milwaukee product. It's going to be their collated magazine for their drywall screw gun. Part number on this is 49200001. Going to run you about 99 bucks. Uh, and then it only fits on the Milwaukee M18 fuel drywall gun. And the part number on this gun is 2866-20. I have a review for this, so I'm not going to talk about the drywall gun a lot. Uh, one nice feature on it is that auto start. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to check that out. But I'm going to talk about several things in this video, put chapters in it, as I always do. Uh, so if you're here for a specific reason. But I'm going to talk about the features, what you get in the box, those kinds of things. And then I'm also going to talk about, you know, how to install it onto your gun. Because the instructions aren't great. And then whenever I went and read the reviews, a lot of people were complaining about not being able to get the bit in there right because they just couldn't figure out which way that it went. And it, it is kind of confusing in the instructions, but I'll talk about that as well. I'll show it to you in action and then just talk about correlated screw attachments in general on your drywall gun. Is it something that's you need to look into? Is it Would it be worth it for you to get because there's a cost? There's a cost to the piece of equipment. There's a cost that's more costly with the screws. So it just depends on what kind of job you do. So I'll talk about the pros and cons of that but i'm going to start by taking this apart getting it cleaned up because i just finished up hanging drywall shouldn't be getting this back out for a little while and then i'll put it back on but i'm going to show you how to put it back on so let me get this cleaned up and then we'll get back together and get this put back on all right guys so out of the box as far as what you get is you get the collated attachment they do give you two bits uh, this is kind of a downer to me of this milwaukee one is that it's 5.8 inch long kind of proprietary bits of Milwaukee's, I guess you could say, in that you're not going to be able to find any besides these that specifically fit this gun because most of them are going to be six inches for some other brand's gun, which means you've got to buy the Milwaukee product bits to work with this collated attachment. And they don't sell these at my Home Depot. That was a big downer for me on this because... You know, obviously I've got the Milwaukee gun. I have to buy the attachment that works with it. Now I'm stuck with having to find these bits and ordering these to make sure that I've got them. But they do give you two. And then they give you an extra nose guard up here, which is right here. There's one that comes on it and they give you a spare to swap that out in case something gets damaged. Uh, for the most part, it's the same as most other collated magazines that you're going to run with. These, these buttons here, just remove it on and off of the gun quickly in case you need to. You got your depth adjustment to get that flushness that you want. You just turn the knob this way, just make your screw go deeper, turn it back towards here to make it come up higher. Uh, your screws will go through here, run up, and then through here, which I'll show you that in just a minute. And then one thing that it does has that's pretty nice, see if I can get the numbers in here. I don't know if I can get that in there or not with the, with the light, but you have a, screws sizes, one inch, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter, uh, it goes all the way up to two inches for screws and you basically pull this tab here and it allows you to adjust to the screw size that you're actually working with uh, so you can get that set and i'm going to put that on an inch and a quarter and because that's what i've got here so it allows you to go ahead and set it for whatever screw you're working with so that you can change back and forth and then also to set, keep your depth adjustment kind of very similar anyway so not a lot in the box, that's what that's what you get. There's not a lot to it. Let me show you how to put it onto the screw gun. So installing it onto your screw gun is fairly simple. The Milwaukee, you just pull the head off. This just slides off. You don't have to turn it or anything like that. Now here's the thing where I think a lot of people are getting stuck on because instructions just say remove the bit in your drywall gun and replace it with one of these bits. And I think a lot of people are just taking, you know, this bit right here out and then trying to put this in here. And that makes it, way too long uh, and it's got a lot of wobble to it so that's not what you get i mean if you put this on right now you'll see that it sticks out already well past the depth point and that's not even stuck in yet so that's obviously not how it goes so what you got to do is remove the entire bit holder and the bit so you got to take out this entire thing right here and it's very hard to get out uh, i actually have to take my pair of cobras and grab it and then see if I can pull this out around the camera and then it comes out so I think you know especially if you were someone and you wasn't real sure how this went in there as hard as that is to get out you'd probably be a little leery of pulling that out all the way 
uh, but this comes out all the way 100 percent and then your next bit's going to go in and then even with this you know i can get it in there and it feels like it's in there but it's not in there very far you've got to press it until it gets all the way back in there the best thing you can do is actually leave it like this put it against something hard and kind of press on it until you feel it click back in there but it's in there seated all the way now and now we just take this slide it on press in the black buttons on both sides and it will click back in there so pretty simple uh, now you can see as i move that the the bit is towards the end as i'm sitting as i'm pushing that back in all the way which i've got it set on an inch and a quarter and i've been using it so the depth should be kind of close then to load the screws it's a matter of just sliding them in the slot here coming up into here there's another slot up here on the head and you can hear it click and what you want to do is get your screw in that position right there with the click because once i press this in it's going to move that screw up into position that's going to be the screw that's going to go in you don't want to load one all the way up in there because it's going to come through it's just going to be a screw that you're going to miss so that's where you want to load your screw to and then there you go so i have this many screws on a strip that i can run without sticking my hand into a bag without fumbling to get them lined up on a bit all those things but that is how you install that so now let's talk about kind of the advantages of it and show it to you in practice so the obvious advantage to this is speed uh, the fact that i'm not going to have to take my hand put it into a pouch pull out each one of these screws put them on a bit line it up get it put in without dropping a bunch of them all those things now you can get really good at that and get fast at that and speed up your time and get better at that but it's still not ever going to be as fast as what you can do this because this is just pretty much amazing uh, whenever you're out in this field especially so that's the advantage to this uh, you can get this on i'm gonna put it on the auto start get that turned on to where i don't have to pull the trigger any and i'm gonna see how well i can do this around the camera but <coughs> know if you can get the the depth on them but all of them are set very well they're set very consistent anyways i'd say you know the, the depth gauge adjustment on this in my opinion works extremely well uh i set it once and went through two boxes of screws like this or two jars whatever you want to call this buckets didn't have to adjust it one time it took me a little while to get it you know adjusted in that first time but i've not had to mess with it since and they're all nice so i just put in that many screws and again if you compare that to if i took my hand and sit there and put every single one of those and tried to get those to where i lined them up right there's no way i could put in that many screws in that amount of time so here you can see me doing it by hand with a dewalt gun drywall gun so i didn't have to swap back and forth i was using that one and again, I'm not as fast with that as what somebody who does drywall for a living is, but I'm also wearing gloves and things. I'm a lot faster if I don't wear gloves, but then I get the little black drywall slivers in my fingers. It's just not worth it to me. So now let me show you the Milwaukee gun with the collated attachment, the speed that you can get with that. I think that it's way above anything that you're gonna be able to do by hand. So again, that's where it talks about speed is the game changer whenever it comes to using this gun. It's just much faster to use this than it is to use your regular drill with a gun. So that's the advantage to it is the speed. And that's the big thing now. Obviously, this is a lot bigger gun that I'm going to have to tote around, so it's a little bit longer, things like that. So sometimes it's going to get in your way in tight spaces. That might be a downside to it. But then again, if you're working overhead on a ceiling, uh, it's an advantage because you got more reach. You can reach up there and put those screws in. So sometimes the extra length on here is going to be an advantage. Sometimes it's going to be a disadvantage. The biggest disadvantage by far to one of these is the cost. Not only the cost of the gun attachment, but more so the cost of the screws. Because there's a tub like this, it's a thousand pieces. That's going to run you about 30 bucks at the Home Center, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever it is that you get them. These are the grip rights. And these have worked well in this gun if you're looking for some screws that would work. Um, 30 bucks for a thousand screws. I can go buy 5,000 plus screws of the inch and a quarter size for around 47 to $50 that are just loose in the little bucket. So 
huge price difference between the two because you're paying for the convenience and all that thing. So that's where you got to decide for yourself on your jobs. If I can speed myself up and make more in labor, then will it pay for the difference in the screw cost? Uh, or you have to bid it in in the first place. Uh, so if you're going to bid a job, you need to know ahead of time my screws are going to cost me more money if I want to do it this route and put that into your bid. But that's the big difference. That's something that you've got to decide for yourself. You know, if you're going to go and hang just one board of drywall, it's probably not worth getting this out and attaching it to your gun unless you just leave it on there all the time. It's probably not worth paying the premium for price because you're only looking at, you know, a, a few minutes worth of putting screws in individually instead of spending a whole day, you know, putting them in like this where it might would take you a day and a half the other way or, or whatever it might be. So that's what you got to look at. What size job you have? Is it worth it to do this? And an advantage is also, like I said, just screwing out in the field out in the open. One disadvantage of one of these, but that's also a disadvantage of this drywall gun with a regular head on it, is getting into corners. Uh, it's hard to get into corners with this, even though this one does have a tapered head on it to kind of help you get into corners a little bit. But, you know, if you've got that stud over in your corner where your first piece of drywall is already covered up part of it, and you got to go in at that steep angle. It's very hard to get in there with one of these, but it's also very hard to get in there with a the drywall gun just by itself. A lot of times I'll have my uh, surge on my belt loop that with just a Phillips bit in it, and I'll put in my corners and everything with those, and then I just use this for just the field. So that's the advantages and disadvantages to me. But I think for the price, for $99, if you've already got this drywall gun and you use it, I think that you'd be well worth getting you one of these. And then again, you just got to factor in the cost of the screws when you're out bidding jobs because I, I, I guarantee you this at least knocks my time down by a third and if not a half if you're doing a bunch of drywall because again, just not having to fumble around with screws and more than anything, just it's just faster because you're not, you, you take out the whole person loading a screw onto a bit and again some people can probably do it that do it for a living 100 percent of the time i'm not a drywall guy all the time i've seen some people who can probably load screws on there just as fast as what this gun can do and if you can do that then then you've got it and you don't even need this but you know for those of you out there that want to speed it up and you know you're not quite there because you're not a drywall machine this might be the thing that you want to look into the only negative that i really have about it those bits the fact that milwaukee kind of stuck it to us and said you've got to buy my bits which is fine by me but the biggest thing i hate is that they're, they're not in the store i've got to order them that's just a, a big pain a big nuisance i don't like having to do that but it is what it is i already have this screw gun but i think if you couple this with that auto start it's a really good deal really good outfit uh, i really like it let me know what you think about it let me know uh anybody that has this if you've been using it if you have problems with it jamming or anything like that and if maybe if you do have those problems let us know what screws that you've been using uh that way we know to stay away from it or if you've uh, tested it over time and you found some screws that don't work well with it put that down in the comments below maybe you've got another brand uh, and just tell us what you think about the collated screw attachments on your drywall gun in general because there may be somebody here just trying to decide if they need this whether they have DeWalt, Milwaukee, Makita, whatever it is, do they need an attachment for their gun to make it more useful? Uh, just let that let us know in the comments below if it's something that you bought, but you find yourself not using it as much because of the cost of the screws or because it just is bur uh, cumbersome or whatever it might be. Let us know what you think about these attachments down in the comments below, but I hope it was useful in some way. I uh, hope that you got some kind of benefit out of it. But as always, hope you guys stay safe. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.